Hello, good evening, and welcome to the Supreme Court, where tonight on WOSN, we got a great non-conference matchup between the Lexington Minutemen and the homestanding Ottawa Glendorf Titans. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Darren Gilbert, and we'll bring you all the action tonight. And get like two teams on winning streaks, got a, uh, a lot of victories here between these two squads tonight. I, I'm telling you what, what a great atmosphere tonight. I'm sure the place was packed last night. If you love basketball, this is the place to be, partner. It absolutely is. We got a great matchup for you. And when you take a look at the keys to the game tonight, uh, what stands out for Lexington that they've got to do to accomplish a victory tonight? Well, I think number one, they've got to contain OG's big three. I like to use the term the law firm of Colin White, Theo Mag, and Mr. Erford. Those three guys have so much experience that they bring to the table that Coach McLaughlin and the other teammates can lean on them in crunch time. I think Lexington, you know, has to go have the one and done mentality on the glass. I think they got to match OG's ability and their desireness to offensive rebound. OG does it exceptionally well. And lastly, for Lexington, I like to use the Heinz variety of pressure points. Can they handle OG physically and mentally adjust to OG's pressure? Because they're going to do it at full court, three quarter court, half court and also run and jump. So if Lexington can do those three things, I think they got a great shot. And then on the flip side for the 16 and three Titans, what about Tyson McLaughlin do they need to key on tonight? Well, I think number one, Lexington's size, length, and athleticism. It's a very similar team to St. Mary's with length, and they have a very highly touted freshman who's getting quite a few Division I looks, really athletic. Number two, you're on the Supreme Court and you have the sixth person, I think you need to get off to a good start. Get your hometown sixth person involved, whether it be the student section or just Titan fans in general, and feed off that energy. And lastly, you know, what do they have left in the, in the fuel tank? You know, last night was a huge game. Absolutely. Preparation was with defiance, and it was a hard-fought victory. They exerted tons of energy. Will they have the legs necessary to go the length of 32 minutes. So that's a look at our keys to the game. We've got the number one team in the Ohio Cardinal Conference, the number one team in the Western Buckeye League, and it's all coming up next on the number one source for local sports, WOSN. We're back here at the Supreme Court getting set for this non-conference matchup. The 17-2 Lexington Minutemen and the 16-3 Ottawa Glandorf Titans. The opening tip-off is won by the homestanding Blue and Gold Titans. And they'll work around the perimeter of Theo Mag. He'll turn and face. Lexington coming out the man to man. Kay Nerford gets over to Grant Schrader. He'll bounce down low to White. Double team just momentarily. Mag drives a lane. Off the left side with the left hand. Couldn't hit. And a rebound comes down to the minute man. Yeah, did everything right. Got it to the left hand. Protected the basketball. Just couldn't finish it. AJ Young bounces on the left side. Minutemen throw back out top to Braden Fogel. Highly touted freshman gives to the right. Off the window. And Lexington misses their first shot as well, so we're still scoreless after both teams have their opening possession. Erford thought about, or excuse me, yeah, Erford thought about the three. White will let a jumper fly. Can't hit. And a rebound it's secured by Braden Fora. Yeah, that's one last night he was consistently hitting, leading them to that victory over Defiance. Elijah Hudson works to his left, left elbow jumper, no. Long rebound comes out back to him. Minuteman thought about the corner three, right block floater, yes. That one by Hudson Moore gets the Minuteman on the scoreboard first as Titans quickly back in transition. Mag tried to go up and under, fouled, and he'll shoot the first free throws of the evening. Take a look here at the starting lineup. It's Braden Fogel, the six foot four freshman forward, you see in the bottom right hand corner, and then uh, Braden, or excuse me, Braden Forup in the center, and then Braden Fogel are the focal points here for the Minutemen that will call their names quite often this evening. It's Theo Mag lets the first free throw fly and drops that one home. And then you take a look at the home standing Titans. Caden Erford, 45% free three-point shooter. Colin White averages over 20 points tonight. A very talented Titan basketball squad. You know what's amazing, partners? They're shooting as a team over 74.7% 7 
as a team from the charity strike. Really, really good. Errant pass thrown off the heels of Hunter Steck Schulte. Goes out of bounds off the senior guard. Get a look at the guys in stripes tonight. Appreciate them giving up their Saturday nights. Couple of guys with eight years and 21 years experience officiating high school basketball. As Theo Mag rips the basketball away for the Titans and they'll come up quickly up the floor. Straight to the window, tried to drop it in to Hunter Steck Schulte, but Mag grabs a rebound. Turn around, right hand hook shot, drops it in, and Theo Mag has all four of OG's first points. Pretty, pretty move, protecting the basketball, going to that little jump hook to the left shoulder. Again, OG's going to mix up the press and the pressure. A.J. Young gets the top of the key to Elijah Hudson. He'll work to his left. Throw back to Young, standing with one heel on the center circle. Works to the right. Gives to Fogel. Let one fly. They'll see a foul committed by the Titans before the shot. So 5.45 to remain here in this first quarter. And OG picks up their first foul. Here to be Grant Schrader with the hand check. Hudson for three. No. Offensive rebound secured. Spin, right hand runner from Forup. No. And that will send Brayden Bray Bay four up to the free throw line. Good effort by the six foot seven inch senior four up going after that. Going to get two charity tosses for his efforts. First free throw is up and good for four up. A six foot seven senior four. Up. Great look at him here from our WOSN crew. Second attempt, off the mark, White will rip the rebound down, and the score remains for three Titans. Stack Schulte to Mag, holds for just a brief moment. Schrader bounces to White, back out to Schrader, thought about the three, will leave off for White, and the Titans nearly had it stolen away. Theo Mag rips it out of the hands, floater. And drops it home, Theo Mag with six first quarter points. Young man come to play tonight, didn't he? That he did. Titans want to pressure down with the backcourt. Lexington lips, rips one into the short corner. Dangerous pass and it's stolen away. Mag escapes the pile with it. As Steck Schulte runs, gives to Grant Schrader. He'll turn and face the basket, give to Theo Mag. Titans kick back out. Erford to his left, or excuse me, Steck Schulte to his left. Colin White will let a three fly off the heel. Offensive rebound, put back, no for Schrader. Fouled, and he'll get two free throws. That's what they do, and they do it really well, and that's offensive rebound. They go after it. You see, great look at it there with Charles River. Instant replay. Schrader tried to get the put back, couldn't, but he's fouled. And he's 6'4", Jr. Misses the first free throw attempt. Schrader doesn't get there often. He's been there 12 attempts. Now that's coming into last night's game, 67%. Second free throw attempt from Schrader. Got that one to go. Makes it 7-3. And Levi Unterbrink will come into the game for Grant Schrader, who just made the first point of the evening for somebody for, for Ottawa Glendorf, for somebody other than Theo Mag. That's a 7-3 lead for the home team. OG going to a three-quarter court, 2-2-1. Two, two, three on away from Young, well off the mark. Offensive rebound. Put back by Forup is good. Yeah, OG can't afford to let that young man get offensive rebounds. That's two big ones for the Minutemen. Seven of five to score. Mag thought about the three. Hasn't shot one all season. It's been screened instead. Steck Schulte, high post, kicks back out to Erford. He will let one fly. Bang! He shot plenty of those this year, hasn't he? There's another big one for the young man. Ten to five. Nearly stolen away in the backcourt. Minutemen will dribble out of it. Bounce up the far corner. Four up. Let's one fly. Drops it in. Baden four up with five points. 
Yeah, both bigs are off to an excellent start scoring wise. 10-7 to score. Hunterbrink kicks to Mag in a far corner. Puts it on the deck in the lane. Tried to hit it. Can't hit from that left side. It's a couple of times where Mag's been close and just had it roll off the rim for him. No pressure out top now. Here's the Minutemen. Hudson Moore on the right side. Gives back off to Fora. Aiden Fora throws left to A.J. Young. Braden Fogel, the six foot four freshman. Wow, what a crossover. Left it too strong, long rebound, comes back out to it. Just couldn't finish it. Minutemen patient this offensive possession. Four up, double teamed on the block, kicks back out to Young. Under three minutes to go in this first quarter, stolen away by Lexington. Bounce pass up ahead, Unterbrink in transition, drops it in. Great fundamental defense by the Titans, using their legs and their body and not their arms to get to the position to get that steal. 12-7 to score, Fogel along that far sideline, dribbles out of trouble, gives off to A.J. Young between the circles. 2.30 remain in this first quarter, 12-7 to score on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Titans will double team Fogel in a tough spot. Gets out of it, Moore, tightly guarded as well, nearly stolen away. Fogel spins, hangs and hits. Braden Fogel cuts the lead to three. Really athletic play. Hunterbrink in the high post, nearly out his pocket picked. They'll say it goes out of bounds off of him, and that's a turnover by OG. Yeah, he got into the paint, that's what he was trying to do, but he's got to protect that basketball a little bit. Lexington really active with her hands. Theo Mag and Kate Nerford out of the ball game. Dave Westrick will come in. A little three-quarter court run and jump. Minutemen, Hudson Moore, back to the basket. Leans, nearly had it stolen away by Colin White. Baseline drive, poked high in the air. Fogel will let it fly. Too strong. Erford, the rebound, and they'll say he touched the baseline with it, so it stays with Lexington. You know, even though the Titans didn't get the basketball there, they're taking it out of bounds. They're letting Lexington have it underneath. Good effort there by Erford, just couldn't maintain his balance. Braden Fogel comes out of the game for the first time for the Minutemen. Bounce in to Gavin Husty down low. Forup kicks back. Moore straight to the window, nearly blocked by Dave Westrick, but it drops home and it's 12-11. The lead cut down to one. Still under 90 seconds to play in this quarter. White right wing. Erford for three. No. Offensive rebound, putback attempt by Westrick. No. Fouled. And the 6-6 junior goes to the line. Great look at it on the replay here. What's that, two or three offensive rebounds for the Titans yeah. early in the first quarter? They have controlled the offensive boards. And that was one of the keys of the game that Scott Hamilton, the Lexington coach, told us they had to rebound well as Wester gets his first point of the evening. Theo Mag comes back in the game. Herford will take a seat. 6'6", junior, Dave Wester at the line. And he got them both. Those are, those are pluses. 60% at the charity stripe to knock both of those in. Those are pluses for the Titans. Ty Buckland stopped doing the game for OG. He's guarding the ball handler here in the backcourt. As Husty goes coast to coast, shot altered by Mag. Got a jump ball call, and the possession arrow points towards Lexington. Yeah, Theo did a really good job going vertical there, not slapping down. Rule states if you go vertical, that's your space, even if you leave the floor. Hunter's Tech Schulte back in the game as Grant Schrader will take another seat on the bench. Minutemen bounce into the far corner to Husty. He'll work out to the middle of the floor, back to the far corner. Got the defender in the air, three on the way, no. From Alex Depperschmidt. Buckling, Buckling excuse me, with the rebound. Tech Schulte to the window. 
drops it home, and the lead grows to five once more. Husty tries to race up the far sideline under a minute to go. Nearly a up and down there as Husty will let one fly from the right wing. Can't hit. Offensive rebound by Forup. Lost the handle. It's a race back the other way. Colin White will pull it back out near the midcourt stripe with 20 seconds to go. Yeah, you put it in his possession or anywhere near it, the basketball, he's going to get it. Right there is a prime example. You bring it down, he's going to take it. He'll stand right at the center circle with 10. Double team. Gets right back at the high right point. White tries to break down a defender. Into the far corner, White at the horn. Good if it goes, and it does. Colin White's first basket of the evening. A three at the first corner horn. You see on the Charles River instant replay. Give him a little space. He utilized it. It's an eight-point lead for OG after one here on WOSN. Free throws tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Get a look there at the Lexington Minutemen. Division two, 17 and two, and you see the athleticism, the size, 64 points a contest. Winning by an average margin of 13, 12 and 1 in the Ohio Cardinal Conference. Meanwhile, OG, 6 and 3, and the third ranked team, according to the Martin RPI, have hit 95 on the scoreboard. I'd love to get over the century mark at some point this year. Cowan White lobs down low to Theo Mag. Dances around the post, blocked, got it right back though, and does hit from that left side. You know, there's no panic with the Titans. You know, Colin White at the end of the first quarter didn't panic. Theo got his shot blocked, got right back to it, and finished. Wow, that young man's off to a great stop. Baden Forb has seven here in the first half. Stack Schulte gives off to Mag. Leans and hits. What a first half for Theo Mag. Averages 13 points a contest, has 10 in the first eight minutes and 45 seconds of this ball game. And you know what, the points he's getting is only gonna make it better and easier for Erford and, and White to get their shot opportunity. Because every time White touches the ball, they're sending two at him. Elijah Hudson, four up. We'll let the mid-range jumper fly. No, Erford rips down the rebound. Steck Schulte wants to run. Right to the window, and Hunter Steckschulte hits a tough one. And a timeout called by Scott Hamilton, the Lexington head coach, as the Titan faithful rise to their feet. 25-13 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. We'll step aside here in the second quarter on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard presented by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of the Structure Pergola X. Ultimate Outdoor, a division of Alts. Seamless spouting. Early timeout here in his second quarter. Obviously, Scott Hamilton didn't like what he saw here to begin this quarter, Kelly. Uh, no, and you know what? If you let it get too far away from here on the Supreme Court, it's going to be tough to come back from. So that was a great timeout on his part. Try to make some adjustments and settle his kitsch down. Fogel throws right. Young, four up will rise and fire and hit. Baden, four up, nine. Here in the first half is... Stack Schulte goes straight to the window. No, but Theo Mag, offensive rebound put back. No, gives to Colin White, and he'll hit. <laughs> now the Titans, after the bait basket, get some time to set up the defense here on the backcourt. As Fogel throws right to Young. He'll get it across the timeline. Three on the way from Elijah Hudson's good. His Actually a point. two. Actually oh, it was a long two. two, long two. Yep, Joe Allen made the correction. Colin White gets in the near corner to Erford. He'll bounce to Theo Mag. Double team from behind, rips it away. And the foul committed by A.J. Young. I think one of the adjustments Coach Hamilton just made, he wants to dig the post now. He's not going to let Theo go one and one in the one on one, excuse me, in the post. And you see there on the Charles River instant replay, there was a Big toe on the line for Elijah Hudson, so it was just a two. And you know, if you're OG defensively, that's the shot you want to give oh, up. Oh, sure. You want to give up that 17, 18 footer against pressure. White will rise and fire in a mid range. Left it short, four up the board. As Steck Schulte tried to poke it out of bounds off of Fogel, couldn't get it. Well, that young man is just basketball savvy. He's got a nose for the basketball. 7.6 points a game, 
but does the little things for the Titans. Minute men look to inbound into the near corner to Fogel. Crosses over, bounce pass across the timeline. Moore got in the air. Awkward looking. And he's got four back to back possessions. White to the rim, no, fouled, and he'll shoot two of Lee's famous recipe free throws. They see the Titans quickly in transition. Colin White getting straight to the rim, and he's fouled. And Colin White is a 78% free throw shooter. Shot over 100 free throws this season. What's that tell you? Getting to the window. He gets to the glass, absolutely. He doesn't settle for threes. He likes that mid-range game. Yeah. He was on fire last night from, what, from the highlights that I watched. He he got the ball to the 15-foot range. He felt like it was there, and that's a lost start. A lot of players yeah. don't oh, work absolutely. on the mid-range. It's either a three or all the way to the rim. So kudos to that young man. Colin White, seven points for OG. They'll pressure in a tough spot are the Minutemen, and a foul. Goes against the Titans, I believe Grant Schrader. That's his second. Good job right there by Lexman, splitting the trap, getting the basketball through, pulling his head through. That's the way you do it to create that foul situation. So Hudson will inbound along his near sideline. Yes, Gavin Husty. Looks like maybe Alex Depperschmidt of Lexington might have got a little leakage from the nose. The training staff takes a little bit of attention to him. As Hosty works to his right. 5.15 to go here in this second quarter. It's a 10 point lead for the Titans at 21, 29 19. Brady Fogel, freshman tightly guarded, not given an inch. Yeah, any ball screen or handoff, OG switching it up. To the window, Moore blocked by Theo Mag, or excuse me, Hudson, I should say. I think they got Mag on that one with the body. That'll be his first foul. Take He's a look a, at it Yeah, here. the replay. If he, just, if he just walls up right there and holds his position, there's an opportunity for a charge. And he's a shot blocker. I get it. Yeah, uh, Theo Mag nearly three blocks a game. First free throw attempt from Elijah Hudson, up and good. So five second quarter points here in the first three minutes for Elijah Hudson, a 6'8 junior forward. A lot of big fellas out there, huh? That there is, 6'7", 6'8", 6'4", 6'6". I got to go out there and look at him eye to eye, a couple of them. <laughs> Not used to that. Erford to the window. Yes. Pretty, pretty move. <laughs> Playing with so much confidence. Minute men run the baseline on the bottom side. Hudson, jumper, no. White, the rebound, stays in bounds, long outlet pass. Underbrink, Erford, slapped away by the minute man. Hosty at the free throw line to the far corner. In the lane, guarded by Theo Mag. Much but better. Stolen away by Steck Schulte. It's a two on one. Tries to alley-oop Colin White. He pulled back, Erford for three. Doesn't hit, rebound. Pulled down by Joe Caudill of Lexington. Much better by Theo Mag inside, holding his ground, walling up, not reaching or trying to slap, block that shot inside. Fogel on the right side of the baseline, left-hand floater, drops it in. Smooth play there. That it was, under four to go here in his first quarter. First half, I beg your pardon. Hunter Brink on the wing, working around a perimeter. White comes off a screen at the top of the key. Erford, pump fakes on the three, double teamed. And we'll lob back out to Colin White with 3.30 to go in the second quarter. 31-22, White gets a screen from Mag. Thought about the mid-range jumper. Instead, Erford tries to turn a corner. In the lane, hangs, doesn't hit, fouled. And I believe Caden Erford has two free throws coming to him. What an athletic double clutch right there. Because if he doesn't double clutch, I don't think there's a foul. Nice take. First foul committed by Hudson Moore. It's a sixth foul committed. Fifth foul, I beg your pardon. No, nope, it is the sixth. They just put it on the scoreboard. The sixth foul committed by Lexington is 
Burford. Hits again from the free throw. I didn't want to say it, but he's an 84% free throw shooter. And he's trying to avoid the over Mac announcers. Jinx, but you're right, you, Gil, you see that double clutch there. Absolutely. And you're, I, I think you're dead on. That's not a foul unless he takes that extra clutch there. And if he let it fly on the first time, and instead, Gabe Nerford gets two free throws, has seven points. All you saw there on both of those free throws was the net move. Cade Nerford, a pair of Lee's famous recipe free throws. Makes it 33-22. Fogel, double teamed. Minuteman works around a perimeter. Three, long rebound, pulled down by Dave Westrick. Titans quickly up the floor. Stack Schulte gets to Westrick, right back to him. Colin White to the lane, and drops it in. Allen White, nine points. Side to side ball movement, get the defense going left to right and then attacking the weak side. Exactly what the Titans did. Colin White to the rack for two. Lead grows to 13 at 35, 22, 230 remain in the first half. Ball out of bounds, off to Minuteman and a turnover forced by that Titan D. OG looking to extend the lead. 13 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Stack Schulte gives to White on the wing. Gives right back to Erford. Thought about the three, instead baseline drive. Can't hit, hook back into play, and it stays with the Minutemen. Or with a real nice defensive play there, getting his hand on it, getting the block shot and the rebound. Moore, back door, Forup, no. Offensive rebound out of bounds off the minute. Oh, no, they say it stays with Lexington. Let's see if we can get a replay play on this. It looked like Collins, looked like cut went off Collins' foot. See, I thought it went off Lexington's foot, but we're 90 feet away. <laughs> here we go. Oh, no, we're not. Hey, here we are. Oh, no, you're right. Dribbled off of Colin White's foot. You owe me some Lee's chicken for uh, that one. Uh, I will gladly pay up for that. <laughs> <laughs> so I get a couple of chicken strips, a little mac and cheese. And right after it happened, Colin White sort of giggled yeah, at the yeah, official. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, you could see the kind of smirk of, I tried to get you. I ain't got to think about Lee's chicken. I could eat a biscuit or six. You got to love it when the kid shows emotion, you know, smiling, and, and that shows he's playing with a lot of confidence, and he's really into the game. For a floater from Hudson Moore, no. Long rebound comes out to the Titans. Stack Schulte works to his right, hands off to Erfurt. From the wing, gives to White, thought about the three, instead jab steps, tries to get past the defender, floats one in. Beautiful touch from Colin White. And in White. two years, two years, that freshman is gonna be able to do the same thing. That's just veteran varsity basketball player taking it to the young freshman. White with 11, as the minute man. Hang in a lane, can't hit, rebound, out of play. Stays with Lexington. So 109 to go here in this first half. 15 point lead for the Titans as Theo Mag will come back in. Dave Westrick. And I've heard various people talking, Gary. They're saying that this kid is the number one freshman in the state of Ohio. You gotta believe Colin White, if he's not the number one in the, in the junior class, he's in the top five. And that's just two phenomenal basketball players going at one another right there. Seeing it tonight. A bounce into four, up back to the basket. Finds an open minute man. It's Moore into the far corner. Tried to bounce it down low. Four up wants it on the back side. Poked out of play by the Titan D. Good hands by Theo Mag on that skip pass, using that length to his advantage, tipping it out of bounds. Under a minute remain on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard here in the first half. Is Braden Fogel will inbound. Bounces in. Moore got airborne. Four up in the mid post. Floats. No. Offensive rebound. Fogel. Turnaround jumpers. Good. He's got six. Real quiet with his game. Doesn't say anything. Just plays. Good job by Theo right there, forcing you know four up into a difficult shot. 35 seconds to go in the half. Stack Schulte holds. Wanting Fogel to come garden. Hasn't yet. 25. Or 
Hart back to the near sideline with 20. Mag gets it on the wing, right back to Stack Schulte with 14. Guarded by Fogel. Dead dribble at seven to White. White hangs and hits. Good if it goes, just shy. And we played two quarters of basketball. Ottawa Glandor with a 15 point advantage over Lexington, 39 24 at the break here on WOSN. Third quarter about to get underway here in this non conference matchup between 17 2 Lexington Minutemen and 16 3 Ottawa Glandor Titans. And I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Darren Gilbert and Gilead. Just, Ottawa Glandor just kind of Took, took Lexington apart there, really, in the first half, just bit by bit. It wasn't, uh, you know, a uh, 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 one-run thing or anything. It just was meticulous dissection. Well, two things. I think Theo Mag set the tone with his interior play at both ends of the floor, and I think OG's ability to just pound the offensive glass, and then obviously Colin White got into his little run there in the second quarter. Braden Flo Fogel, floater, off the mark, and a rebound pulled down by Mag. The Titans have a 15-point lead as his second half begins. Stack Schulte works to his left. Gives to Mag. Schrader right to Erford for three. No. And rebound secured by Baden Forup of Lexington. A.J. Young in a tight spot. Gets out of it by passing to Hudson Moore. On the wing, right back to Young inside the center circle. You know, and I'm sure Coach Hamilton's not pleased with the play his, way his kids played the first half, but I'm sure in the locker room it was a very positive discussion on, what, guys, we need to work on this, this, and this. This is a great tournament atmosphere game, and let's just play the second half and let's see what we can do and take it bits and pieces. White free throw line jumper, no. Ball still loose. Finally secured by the Minutemen as Forup will drop it in. Great pass by the freshman, baseball pass from Fogel. Nice finish there by, was that four up again? Yes, sir. Stack Schulte in the lane, hangs and hits. Hunter Stack Schulte with six, with six and a half to go in the third. Right to left, spin move, finishing at the rim with that left hand, excellent play. Fogel at the top of the key, guarded by Erford. Young, throws right back to the freshman. Gives to Hudson Moore, spins in the lane, got in a tight spot, hit the deck. And they'll say a foul was committed by Caden Erford. Yeah, I think that one could have went either way, partner. Yeah, he got in a tough spot. and it, it, You could argue maybe that Erford sent him to the floor, but I, it would have been a feather touch if it sent him to the floor. Nonetheless, call made. Possession remains with the Minutemen. A run right down Main Street. Floater up and in by Hudson Moore. He's got four. Erford thought about getting it down a little Theo Mag. Does. Spins baseline up and under. That's a pretty play by the 6 7 senior. Playing with so much confidence right now. The big fella, six foot seven inch senior. Three thought about. Instead, drop down low. Four up, blocked by Mag. Spins back towards the middle of the floor. Gets to Hudson Moore. Kicks in the far corner. And that ends in the third row of the bleachers. Well, that's one right there where the 6'3 senior Moore got caught in the air and had nowhere to go with it. Toss it into what? Third row of the seats, I believe. 15-point lead for OG on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Erford gives to Stack Schulte. Gets down low to Mag. Back to the basket. Surveys. Puts it on the deck. Theo Mag. Couldn't drop that one in, rimmed out on him. Good job catching and squaring up first, though. He didn't put it on the floor. He did the fundamental things that a post player should, face the basket and try to score. Fogel trying to break down Erford, crosses over, lets it fly, and hits. Impressive move, huh, by a 14 or 15-year-old. He's got eight points now. This White bullets a pass in the far corner. Three on the way for Grant Schrader, yes. Went from a good shot to a great shot. Unselfish play by 22 White. Fogel picks up a dribble, bounces into the near corner. Moore for three. Off the heel. Four up the offensive board at the free throw line. Hands right back off 
Spins, guarded by White, blocked, but a foul committed by the junior. Well, that's Colin White's first. Yeah, called it on the floor and apparently got him with a body here. Ooh, that could have been a shot, shooting foul, excuse me, but now the fish, well, they did give it a shooting foul. My apologies. So the free throw attempt up and off the mark by Hudson Moore, who's an all-Ohio Cardinal Conference second team performer last year. He'll step back to the line. And as the Minutemen trail by 16, 46-30. And the second least famous recipe free throw. Missed as well. Theo Mang secures the rebound. Stack Schulte up to the right wing. Sure, what just happened to Hudson yeah, Moore? That's but what I'm wondering too. He hit the Is deck he holding hard. Right knee. Oh, I got five. five. What an injury to Hudson Moore. Yeah, I don't know if there was some incidental contact right there. I think he was guarding Colin. Yeah, he's right at the top of the key and just fell down. He he's rubbing his right thigh. I'm wondering if he didn't catch a. Catch a knee or yeah, a knee to the thigh area. Which never here's a, feels here's a good. replay on it. Let's take a look. Right there at the top of the he did. Oh, yep. Yeah, he, he caught coming a knee. off that screen. It wasn't against Colin. He was going out, but it appeared to be a screen set. Trying to take a look. It looks appeared to be number, number 10. It was a screen Alex set by Brad Mag. And it was inadvertent. So the white missed the shot, got the offensive rebound, put it back up and in. He now has 15 points, and the lead is 18 for Ottawa Glendorf. You know, and that's one of those injuries, you know, you got to take care of it right away because if he sits for a while, that thing can tighten up real quick. So Lexington will go the length of the floor here as Braden Fogel walks up the far sideline. Guarded by White. On the left wing, guarded by Brad Mag now. Minutemen trying to get to the bucket. Got too deep. A shot off the mark by A.J. Young. Yeah, the, the intention was right. The angle was could have been a lot better. White thought about the three working on Fogel. Kicks to Schrader. Stack Schulte off the screen. Bang. Great ball movement. Side to side. Make the extra pass. Instead of a good shot, let's get a great one. And they did right there for a three. Lead grows to 21 with 3.30 to go in the third. Fogel, floater with the left hand, dropped it home. Done that a couple times now. He's shown really nice touch from the mid-range. You know what it reminds me of? A young Jalen Rose. You know what I'm saying? I was, I I was young when Jalen Rose was young. Yeah, but so. you know what I'm saying? I mean, lefty, he's smooth with it. Colin White lost the handle there. Stolen away by the minute man. It's Fogel in transition on the wing at the free throw line. Leaves off. Young thought about the three. Drives to the right elbow. Kicks back out. Under three to go. Baseline drive by Young. Dropped in. Nice move by that young man using the head and shoulder fake. Getting by Mag. Hitting that little floater. His first bucket of the evening. White. Throws left to Brad Mag. Bounces down low to Theo Mag. Backs down to the defender. Right hand turn around, drops it in, and Theo Mag has 14. My goodness, what a nice move. Fake going to the baseline, spun back, protected it, and finished it. Elijah Hudson for three, splashes one home. Give the junior eight points. Lead down to 16 as we approach two minutes to go in the third quarter. There's a convoy of folks ready at the scores table to sub in the next dead ball. Colin White right down Main Street. Hangs off the back iron. Rebound by Elijah Hudson. Minutemen quickly into the near corner. There's Alex Depperschmidt. Cross court pass. Heat check three from Elijah Hudson. Found out he's not all that hot. Ball out of play off the minute man and goes to OG. So we'll get a bevy of substitutions here. Good hustle by Depper Schmidt right there. I believe that was Depper Schmidt that was trying to run it down number four and just couldn't get to it. And deflected it out of bounds. Going to be the Titan basketball. Lexington's going to try to go a little bit of 
Looks to be appear to be like a half court token man right here. Pressure point pickup appears to be. Oh, they're going to back it up now and meet him at the top of the three-point line. Erford blocked on the initial shot, came right back down to him, got the hoop and the harm. Erford now with nine. Didn't panic, did he? No. Got it blocked, got his offensive rebound, and just exploded to the rim with it. Foul goes against Fogel. The 6'4 junior, Caden Erford, goes to the line looking for an even 10. Can't hit. 90 seconds to go in the quarter. 55-37. Heffer Schmidt thought about the three. As Hudson Moore puts it on the deck, gives off to Fogel. Takes to the free throw line. Good to see him back into the game, huh? And foul goes against the Titans. Called against Colin White, his second. See any Charles River instant replay here, or maybe it was called against Levi Hunterbrink. It was. You know, and if Hunterbrink takes takes the hit there and hits the hits the deck, I think you've got the officials going to call a charge. But did you notice the emotion on the faces of the Titans? No sweat. Right, just Let's just play on. 18 point lead for OG. The inbound jumper hits every bit of the rim for Hudson Moore and in. Nice out of bounds play there by the minute man. Stack Schulte being chased as we approach one minute to go. Ball poked out. Two on one back the other way. Fogel hits off the window. Nice play there by Colin White not to foul. As the Titans hold the basketball with under 50 seconds. A little reach behind there by the Minutemen. Led to that breakout and finish by the freshman. Erford throws right to Stack Schulte. He'll stand right in the center circle with under 40 seconds to go. Erford now holds. They'll play keep away for just a moment. Fogel tightly guarding Erford. will hand off to Stack Schulte, left to the center circle with 25 seconds. Hunter Brink, Westrick, Stack Schulte. Crosses over at 15. Husty follow him around the Supreme Court. White fouled by Hudson Moore with eight and a half seconds to go. It's the second foul committed by the Minutemen here in the second half. Second by Moore. So as weird as it sounds, that's not a bad foul. Well, you, you know, you're putting the ball on the sidelines again. You're making the coaching staff decide what kind of play to run here. Give you a chance to set up a defense. If Absol you. Absolutely. Fogel will guard the inbounder as Erford looks to throw it in. Slaps it off the floor. Stack Schulte with eight. Works to the right. Mag, White, corner. A dangerous situation as White got the defender in the air. Both of them hit the deck awful hard. Take a look at the Charles River instant replay. It's great ball movement by OG. White got the defender in the air. And then Moore, who hit the deck of an injury earlier, picks up his third foul. Good to see both of those young men getting back up off the floor right there. That was a very aggressive, not, not intentional foul. White at the horn, almost swirled it in off the window. We played three, 55-14. Ottawa Glandorf continues to lead over Lexington here at the Supreme Court on WOSN. Scoreboard tonight presented by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of the structure Pergola X. Ultimate Outdoor, a division of Alts, seamless spouting. Titan faithful, like those numbers on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. It's 55-41 as the fourth quarter begins. I'm Garrett Seamite, joined alongside Darren Gilbert. Titans get it down low to Theo Mag into the far corner, thought about the three. Instead, Grant Schrader will let it fly off the heel. Mag, the offensive rebound, still in the lane. Lost the handle as he went to put the shot up, but out of bounds off of Lexington. You know, we're not keeping stats here, but you got to believe the kid's got a double-double tonight. He's been on the glass He's had relentlessly. Four or five both offensive ends. rebounds. Steck Schulte, corner three, no. Another offensive rebound for Theo Mag. Couldn't hit that one. And his score remains 55 41. Hosty for three, no. And another rebound for Mag. I think he hurt us. He wasn't at 10 rebounds. He certainly is He's now after now, three yeah. in the first 
40 seconds of the quarter as Hereford holds in the near corner. Works to the wing. Mag straight away. Drives. Lost the handle. Scoops back up. Erford. Baseline drive. Block. Hangs and a foul. Erford now with 11. And he'll go to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. And I would love to just sit down and pick Coach McLaughlin's brain and, and ask him who one of the most improved players is on the team. You know, my take is this young man right here, to see where he's come from, leaps and bounds from that state final game last year for what he's done for this ball club. I know everybody focuses, focuses on Colin, but man, he makes it so much easier for Colin and Theo when Erford brings his A game. Can't complete the old-fashioned three-point play, and Erford shoots 45% from three, and it's not from a lack of try, and he shoots, shot over 100 three-pointers this year. As the Titans go right down Main Street, left off for Schrader, blocked, and it's ripped away by Forup. And a foul committed by Theo Mag. Now, we're sitting here speaking about Theo Mag with a double-double. You know, Mr. Forup, he's played really well for Lexington. I'm sure he's probably got him a double-double tonight, too. 6.40 to go. 16-point lead for the Titans. Minute then, Forup kicks in the far corner. Moore for three, yes. Hudson Moore with nine points. That was Forup on the kick out. Nice play there. Nice execution by Lexington. They're hanging around. White, baseline drive, scoop shot, up and under is good. Not a whole lot of guys can make a play like that, but Colin White makes it look easy. 17 for the junior. Minutemen try to get it down low, stolen away by Colin White. He'll sprint back the other way. Had his pocket pick from behind the other way. A.J. Young to the window, drops it in. Yeah, that one, Colin got a little lackadaisical with the basketball and didn't protect it and got his pocket picked. Lead down to 13. Under six minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Erford hands off to White. Step back jumper, no, long rebound to Young. Top of the key, pump faked on the three. Instead, bolts a backdoor pass to Moore, no. Last wipe by Theo Mag. Stack Schulte quickly back the other way, finds a wide open Grant Schrader, and he'll butting off it in. Nice pass, nice finish by the Titans right there. Timeout called on the floor, 61-46 the score. 525 remain here in the fourth quarter, as you see the Charles River instant replay. Doesn't get much easier for Grant Schrader than that one. Nice little uh, one-handed pass, but he knew where his teammate was. It all started with Collins' defense down here. Great anticipation there. You see the upcoming schedule here for Lexington. Doesn't get any easier. Shelby, a very good team at the Ohio Cardinal Conference on Tuesday night, and then Mansfield Senior. Next Friday, while Ottawa Glandorf, you see their upcoming schedule. A good Eastwood squad. Two final home game of the season here for OG. So they'll head to Eastwood and at Kenton next Friday night. Yeah, they get it done Friday night at Kenton. They win it outright. You yeah, take a look at the Division Three bracket. A lot of good. Uh, Allen East, Bluffton, LCC, Coldwater. The bottom half of that bracket is as even as you can really ask for. There are some uh, a lot of parity in those final four teams there on the bottom side. And somebody will get the unenviable task of taking on Ottawa Glendorf conceivably in the district semifinal. I believe Bluffton played Allen East. Was it last night or was it last night? That is a great question that I am not prepared to answer. <laughs> I'm not. Okay. Yes, we are told I, I yes, thought they, they did. They did. I know, you know, Allen East has a couple injuries right now. They're trying to heal up, but uh, you know what you're going to get with both ball clubs. Floater on the way from football dropped in. He likes that floater. He's got 14 tonight. Five minutes to go. Lead 13. Stack Schulte. Erford at the free throw line. Stripped, and it's stolen away by the Minutemen. Those turnovers do not make Coach McLaughlin happy. Being a former guard and learning how to protect the basketball, 
They can't oh. be doing that, especially in tournament play coming up. Another bucket by Fogel. We'll give him 16. And the lead has shrunk to 11. So we approach the midway point in his fourth quarter. White, left wing. Erford. Right back to White. Sets the screen. Stack Schulte. Lobs back to the junior. Working against Fogel. Crosses over. Lost the handle at the left elbow. Corner three. Bang. Stack Schulte. Another three. That one coming at an opportune time, growing the lead back to 14. You know, you could feel it. He was just sitting there on that three-point line in the corner. Fogel tries to hit a three of his own. No, Steck Schulte secures the rebound. White hangs, hits, no. Rebound pulled down by Theo Mack, blocked as he went for the scoop shot. Long outlet pass up ahead. Moore will go up and jam at home, or Elijah Hudson, excuse me, jams at home. I'm not quite sure what Theo was thinking right there, trying to score on the weak side instead of going up strong side with it. Steck Schulte's pass, poked, got it back on the pass, and another three for Hunter Steck Schulte. Hey, wasn't he on the other side the last time? <laughs> that he was, 15 points for Hunter Steck Schulte and a 15-point lead for the Titans on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. It's like playing a game of horse, picking your spot and letting her rip. Nice pass by Mag. Fogel kicks top of the key to Young. He'll put up a three of his own. No. Colin White to rebound. He'll pull a pass up ahead to Theo Mag, but it's poked out of bounds by the Minutemen. Oh. Here's a three from Grant Schrader, or excuse me, Hunter Stack Schulte. Excellent pass out there by Theo inside to the corner. The officials will confer and they'll make sure. Yes, it did go on off of Lexington. So under three to go. It's a 15 point lead for the Titans. Yeah, I think the question was, did Mag hit it off the bullet pass there from White? It was deflected, but they were questioning whether it hit in the shoulder to head area by Theo. And the officials got together. And good piece of officiating said no. White receives the inbounds pass in the backcourt and leaves off to Stack Schulte. He'll cross over, bounce to Erford, backdoor pass to Colin White, and flight 22 is cleared for takeoff. Oh, boy. My goodness. 17-point lead for the Titans as the blue and gold faithful rise to their feet, and a turnover forced by the Titan D. You know, that brings back memories. Last year, the state finals. Oh, that was Going a fantastic Going over two game. Taft players. You see a great look in the Charles River instant replay. Lee grows to 17 with two and a half to go. Oh, an even better look on. We'll see. Just attacks the rim. Relentless. Stolen away by Lexington. Fogel turnaround floater. Fogel has shown some touch for a freshman in the mid-range. 18 tonight. And he's quiet about it. You know, he, yeah, he doesn't show boisterous. a lot of emotion. He just plays the game. And I'm telling you, college coaches love that. They love the demeanor. Stack Schulte to the bucket. He's got 17 tonight. Average is just shy of eight. It's been a big night for the 6-2 senior. Three, no for Lexington. Mag, another rebound, long outlet pass to Caden Erford. Able to somehow, oh, somehow tried to keep it in bounds, couldn't. Dribbled it on the inline. And now with a 17-point lead, under two minutes to go, the Titans will empty the bench. As you see, Mag, Schrader, Stack, Schulte, White, and Erford take their final bow for this evening. Theo Mag, 14 points. Hunter Steck Schulte, 17 points. Colin White, 17 points. Caden Erford, 11 points. Grant Schrader, 6 for the starters tonight for Ottawa Glandorf. That's a high arching shot to Husty here in the near corner. Fogel gives back to Husty, gets it right back. Young fires in the near in the far corner. Husty from the near corner for three. That one swirled three quarters of the way back down. Popped out for up a pair of offensive rebounds. Blocked, but a foul committed by the Titans. I think they got Brad Mag in there with the reach in. So 115 to go. And Braden or Baden Forup, excuse me, will go to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. 
you know, partner, just standing around talking with the OG people. And there's a lot of great people in this community, and I've met some wonderful friends, but talking to some of the former players and coaches before the game, their biggest concern was, do they have the fuel in the tank oh, absolutely. to give the effort? Game and guess night. what? They did. The answer was a resounding yes. That 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 tank is completely full. It didn't go off of, you know, the F, so to speak. Baden Forum hits both Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line, or free throws, I should say. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima, Wapak and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. Titans working around the perimeter. Fogel pokes it out of bounds. OG trying to get it to Levi Hunter break down low. Yeah, right idea by Buckland, but that's one of those where you can't throw the, excuse me, throw through the length and the arms of Fogel. If he uses a bounce pass, I think they got a layup. Just over a minute remaining. Titans inbound to Brad Mag. Get it to Buckland on the wing. Back to Ryan Ross. He'll go to the window. Ryan Ross can't hit, wanted it. Didn't get it, and a rebound comes down to the minute man. Good take by that senior. Hosty gives to Jack's Lamp in the ball game for the first time. Ball ping pongs around in that far corner. Minute man, Hosty thought about the three. Into the near corner, Chance Bassalone had 20 points in the JV game, and he. Drops one in with 30 seconds to go. Yeah, they played really well in the JV game, did yeah, Lexington. They, yeah, they They've got well. some talent coming, don't they? That they do. Unterbrink bounces down low. Back to the basket, stripped. Stolen away by Husty with 15. Pass thrown up. Shot thrown up, I should say. Under 10 now. And a minute, man. Oh, it's stolen away by Brad Mag. He'll race. Tried to dunk, it wouldn't have counted. Left it a little short, doesn't matter. Nobody's watching. <laughs> You've seen a smile <laughs> on Brad Mag's face. He said, I'm only going to get one chance to do this. I might Coach as well. McLaughlin's going to have to check that rim yeah. to see if it's not <laughs> right. been up. Well, is that 10 feet? Is that regulation <laughs> height? 71-59, Titans victorious tonight here on WOSN. Yeah, we'll just do this real quick. Or, sorry. Yeah, I'm not sure where. I'm not sure where Gil went. I, I was going to say either I would hear him or see him above everybody else. I don't. <laughs> I just don't want to make you stand out here all night. Well, and where's Gilly? Okay. All right. Let's. There he is. Oh. oh. You went out the other door. Oh. So you hold that. I'll ask you a couple questions, okay. and then I'll say, you know, hey, Tyson, appreciate it. Blah, yep. blah, you can step out. Sounds good. All right. If you want to go, go come this way, so then you can step in when Tyson steps out. Okay. Yep. All right, coming up. All right. Wrapping up an Ottawa Glendorf victory, I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Tyson McLaughlin. And I think one of the questions coming into tonight was how much was left in the tank after the, a bit of the big game last night. And I, I think you proved there was there was still quite a lot there. Yeah, you know, we knew uh, we had to come out and really play well tonight to get a win. Uh, you know, last night was a great atmosphere, and you're always worried about a little bit of a letdown. But I, I thought our guys came with the right mental approach. I thought uh, got off to a pretty good start. Uh, and, and then, again, we just continue to get contributions from different guys on, on different nights. And... For us to be successful, we need those. Yeah, you got to balance scoring effort. A, a guy like Hunter Steckschulte pours in, you know, 17 points tonight. How important is that as you get to this stage of the season? Well, you know, teams are going to try to take away Colin as much as possible. You know, Theo had a fantastic game, got us going early, and then Hunter kind of finished it off for us. And, you know, we got multiple guys that can, you know, Hunter and Kate out, out on the perimeter. When they're hitting shots, it makes us really dynamic. And, uh, you know, we got guys that can score in a variety of ways. And tonight, you know, Hunter stepped up when we really needed him to. You know, Lexington, a really good Division II school, presents some kind of unique challenges. What did you learn about your squad now as you, you head into the final week of the season and tournament? Well, you know, obviously we always want to we, – we press 90% of the time. And, uh, 
I think the key to tonight was we backed off our pressure and, and we went more half court. They were passing over the top. We weren't getting the, the tempo. The tempo was kind of there, but we were giving up layups or easy shots. And, uh, you know, a team like Lexington, you give them easy shots, they continue to hang around. I thought when we went just straight half court and locked in, uh, we made things difficult on them and then we were able to get out and go and it obviously turned some uh, transition points in there. Well, congratulations on the, the pair of victories this weekend, and uh, we'll see you down uh, the tournament trail. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. That's Ottawa Glendorf head coach Tyson McLaughlin joining us. And now we welcome Darren Gilbert, the color commentator, back in. And, Gilly, it's time now to name the Stolly Hustle Award winner and, and who, in your eyes, stood out the most and, and deserved the, 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 that, that honor tonight. Well, I think we talked, you know, after the game was over, I think we both agree that Theo Mag. I think Theo set the tone right from the get-go with his post presence, scoring-wise, going down, playing defense. I got to believe he had a double-double tonight, but I I really think, you know, at the, the focal point was doubling Colin White early, and there's going to be a lot of teams do that. But that young man at 6'7", he, he, he showed his post presence tonight, and I think that really helped, you know, OG during stretches where they could extend that lead, and congratulations to that young man. Yeah, he scored, uh, I think, 10 points there in the first – 10 minutes of the game where he got them off that start that Coach McLaughlin talked about. Well, he put him in a position where Coach Hamilton, it, you know, he had to go away from his game plan of doubling Colin White because interior-wise they were just getting beat up on the offensive glass as well as Theo's ability, so they started doubling down on him. Well, obviously when you start doing that, Theo's a good passer. We saw that late in the fourth quarter when he kicked it out for an open three. Just a complete game, and I like what Coach McLaughlin says. He's getting great bench play, and that's what it – that's what it takes to be a good basketball team, especially heading into tournament time. So congratulations to Theo Mag, our Stanley Hustle Award winner tonight. For more Stanley Hustle Award winners, check out the WOSN YouTube page. That'll do it from us here inside the Supreme Court. Ottawa Glendorf grabs a victory over Lexington tonight. For our entire WOSN crew and Darren Gilbert, I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long, and we'll catch you next time right here on WOSN.